So Senator Jack Hammer guy, AKA Sammy the Landscaper, is now yeah. Sammy the Carpenter. Sammy's putting up all of uh, Lynn's Kurt rod holders. We finally got. We finally got something to put up here in the kitchen. It's nothing, nothing fancy, just temporary. And you can see, so we got, we got the kids' villa rented, we got the master villa rented, and all of our things are over here. <laughs> this right here, this is our bed. Kid, baby's taking a nap. So Lynn's organizing the clothes, and we're gonna stack them. I'm gonna stack my clothes behind the couch, and she's gonna stack hers in the laundry room. And that's it. Uh, we've been working nonstop since 7.30 this morning. It's about one o'clock. And what? I said we've, we've been working nonstop since 7.30 this morning. Especially me. Especially you. Well, I me. Mean, I've been watching your kid. I had to go to Hagna, get the supplies. I dropped the other guests off in Gindle, man. Wow. And then who was up with your kid all night? Me. I was up till 12 last night. Everybody's sleeping. And, and who's awake with the baby? Me. That kid did not go to sleep. She did not go to sleep. She didn't go to sleep last night until 12.30 at night. I couldn't get her to go to sleep. She was running around. All the lights are off and she's running around in the dark, playing in the dark. Baby, why are you so skinny? I don't, I don't have, I don't have breasts. You don't have breasts? How come? I I make you work? I put you back to work? It's like I'm working without salary, guys. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's my, she's my sex slave and now my what? My nanny. Yeah. She's working without salary. I'm gonna kill her. There's no salary. Baby, can I? I need fifty thousand. I need twenty. I need ten. I need uh, how much? How much you need, baby? How much? 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 Oh my God! How much? How much? How much? Wait, no, I can't remember. You can't remember. Ah, she's the best. She's worth every peso. Paid a lot of money for this woman. <laughs> oh, this one. Do you want to say something? Does she want to say something to our viewers? I have a does, does she know we have a, a YouTube channel? She don't know. She don't know? I have, I have a gift for him, too, and I don't know if I can go. And this one is my gift for Timina. So, <laughs> Mina's birthday was last week. We still have her gift. And then no. Paul, Paul and Angel, it's Angel's birthday. When? Yeah. Today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Angel's birthday is tomorrow. Sorry, Paul I, and Angel, I really don't think we're gonna be able to make it. Yeah, we but, can't already, but, but when we have a couple of, next week we'll have free time, we'll go down and see them, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. They did? Mm -hmm. What'd they say? So good. Nice. So, um, we've been trying to get people uh, fresh buku juice, you know, out of the out of the coconut shell when they arrive. Uh, but we ran out. Land brought a bunch from back from the mountains, but we, we already ran out. We weren't expecting to have so many guests. Yeah. And so maybe we'll go to next door to Imar's and buy a few from his coconut trees. Yeah, but so instead of giving them buku juice, we picked a uh, papaya in our backyard, and we sliced it. It was so delicious. It was so perfectly ripe. Right? It just melted. You, you put it in your mouth and the papaya just melted in your mouth. You don't even have to chew it. It just like melted. And we gave, so we gave it, you know, we sliced one up and gave it to the guests as kind of like a welcoming gift instead of the buku juice and they loved it. Anyways, they're, they're kind of vegetarians, um, but they eat, they, they don't eat meat. 
They, they'll eat eggs, they'll eat bread, they'll eat, they'll eat fish, but no meat. So, um, so we, so we gave them some papaya. And uh, so tomorrow I'm gonna make them uh, a frittata with potatoes and egg and some vegetables in it. I'm gonna make them a nice frittata with some sliced watermelon, and then that's it. That's their breakfast tomorrow. I'll make one big frittata and that's it. All these guys are getting a frittata, right? Mm -hmm. Make it nice and easy. Hmm. The only problem is, you get, did you get any eggs today? Did you get any eggs today from the chicken house? No, maybe. Later? Yeah. Okay, bring them in here because I have to cook. Yeah. I have, no, bring them in here today. Yeah, yeah. yeah because I have to uh, cook some. How many eggs now in the incubator? Eight. Eight? Ten. Ten. Yeah. Okay. So not today, but tomorrow put put some more in there. But yeah. today today I need eggs for the guests. So someone so we got a couple of kind of a nasty comments about Marianne's house. Not towards Marianne's house, but towards us. That for some reason they thought we didn't like Marianne's house. That's not true. It's not true. So let me just clarify. I want to clarify what happened. We were, we were doing the tour and I was talking about the ceiling, how it's very complex and it has those different layers and it's like a Filipino and thing. And you want to be like that and I said, no, it's different because our ceiling is different. No, I, I said that I don't like those kind of ceilings where they have the, what, what, yeah, I don't like the Akadon ceilings. I like just the flat ones. And then someone complained that, oh, you're just jealous about Marion's house or, or Marion's house is nice and nice. That's fine. I'm happy for Marianne if yes, it's nicer sister, than us. Of course. Of I'm, course. So happy. I'm so happy for her. Her sister. house is going to be beautiful if, when it's if, done. If her house is nice, I'll be so happy because I'll go there and sleep. Of course. And, stay and I'll go there and eat all her food in her fridge, yeah. like she does here. Yeah, she's my sister. I'm so happy. The only problem is she never has any food in her freaking fridge. So I can never eat her food. She always cooks for you, my sister. Yeah, she does. She cooks me Indian yeah, food. So she's good. So nice. No, I was commenting about how I don't like octagon ceilings. What's wrong with that? I don't have to like every every detail. I, I just don't like those kinds of ceilings because you know why? You, all you're gonna do is get so much dust up there and, and whatever. And for me, I, I, I choke when things are dusty. I'm so, I'm so happy for my sister. Of course. Her house is like, it's like my house too. Right. Especially when you're just dying for to finish the house, so then when we yeah. fight, you have a place to sleep. Yeah. What's he got? What's he got? So we got right now we got a couple from Poland that checked into the kids' villa and they're down they're down on the beach snorkeling. They brought out their own snorkeling gear, thank God. Then Maximilian, he's from the UK as well, I believe. Mm. And he's coming, I think, with his girlfriend. Uh, they were in Mobile Mobile. 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 My ball. My balls. I'm not really sure. Your um, and so that, I think everyone goes there for the sardines, the snorkel with the sardines. I can't snorkel with the sardines because afterwards I want to eat them. <laughs> so, so they're on their way. So they had to take a ferry from Mobile to um, uh, Peng Lao. And then they had to get a, a, a van from Peng Lao to, nice. to the bus terminal they're and so, take, take Bularen. Maximilian? So, I'm talking about I'm talking about the people that are coming. We didn't meet them yet. Max and I don't Ma know about I'm talking about Max. Ah, okay. But the people who just left, Brandon and his girlfriend, mm -hmm. oh they're so great. Yeah, they're so nice. They're like our friends. Yeah. They said that so on the way to driving them to Gindelman, Brandon was telling me how their the beginning of their Philippine trip was a nightmare. They were they were like, you know, their, their plane was canceled or delayed. It took them forever to get here. And all kinds of all kinds of problems with the plane, first of all, you know, with the, with the delays and stuff. So they finally get here and they get to El Nido and the room that they got was awful. They didn't like it. And they didn't then like El Nido? 
they didn't like the room they were in. Oh, okay. And they, they didn't really, they were, actually they really weren't crazy about El Nido because it's very crowded, very touristy. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And so, so, so then they were, then they were stuck in El Nido for like four days because of the weather. So they were, they were just, they said they were very miserable. They weren't happy with their trip so far. And then they came here and they said, wow. They said, coming here to our place, they said, they told me, made, made their whole vacation. It really made their whole trip better. And they said, by the end of their stay here with us, they didn't want to leave the Philippines. They said, when they first came here, they couldn't wait to leave. They weren't happy. And everything was going wrong for them. And then by the end of their stay here with us, they said they were, they were just so in love with the, with the Philippines. They were so happy. Mm -hmm. They said they, they really got, you know, really comfortable. They didn't want to leave. Yeah, and they said they, when they, they stayed in, um, in uh, Chicago, they said they were going to go back here. Yeah. So they said they were going to go back And then they met, they met someone at Chocolate Hills yesterday who was looking for a place to stay in Anda, and they told him to come stay at our place, but they couldn't because we're all maybe booked. The, maybe this the guy who sent us messages. Yeah, we got, we got a message last night on Airbnb, even though we're fully booked, we got a message on Airbnb last night from a guy who said, you know, do we have any availability at all? He'll, he'll, stay, he'll stay for a long stay and he'll pay extra. He'll make a special price for us. And I said, I don't have any place for you. The, the, my my soonest availability is the 22nd. 24. 24. So that was it. We didn't hear back from him. Um, so here's a look. Here's a look at our new curtains. Um, this is just Filipino curtains. Um, I don't think these will be up too long until we get better, better curtains. Uh, it does give you some some sort of privacy that we didn't have at all before. So and the color is not bad. Finding finding soft colors like this in the Philippines is almost almost impossible, because everything is bright orange and bright yellow. <laughs> we found it. Yesterday. We found it. Very and, time. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you soon. Thank you.